Welcome back to Afterlife. It's episode 31. Uh, not quite done, but I'm running out of time for a project that I want to get done, and that is we have been able to gather a decent amount of mushrooms over the last couple of nights, and that has led to the ability, along with a number of Manuka honey, that we can actually make some Sivia syrup. And not just one, but three that can get made right now. So with three of them, uh, my infection's at 47%, at 15% each. We can use two and knock it down to just about nothing. Uh, and, you know, have it quite low. Uh, it's going to take care of that infection for a long time yet here as uh, Dawn is on the way. But it also appears that we might have to wait just a little bit longer. And, you know, we actually even have enough to make yet another one here. Uh, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good in that department. Alright, uh, I've got a lot of water, uh, we'll take care of that here, oh, potatoes, are you ready? Yes, you are. Just that first one, that had already been planted, uh, let's go get the water, I'll, I'll come back and deal with that when I return. I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, first Scythia syrup now, and the second. And we'll put the other one away for later. Not sure how we went from nice and clear base to a whole bunch of enemies, but uh, it's fives really, not that many. Decided to check my bike before we take off. We still have a uh, full inventory from our last trip. We'll go get that put away. Morning's definitely wasting away now, though. We've uh, gone well into our day. So, as we roll back into town, I've usually waited till the next intersection before I uh, turn and go this direction, but now I'm curious to see what is out here. First one on the right, is that the house I think it is? Is that the mortician's house? No. No, I don't think it is. Might be. Might be, but I don't think it is. Uh, is this the antique shop? We've already seen the antique shop, have we not? Uh, apparently we have not. Okay, let's... Head on into here. We'll start our day with the uh, antiques and post office. We're gonna have a couple of more challenging zombies to deal with, but otherwise it shouldn't be too bad. This one's always got a cop in it and the big lady. Uh, and the main loot's in that back area. Gets rather challenging. You know, I never end up bothering with the saloon on this one. Kind of curious what's actually in the saloon. You know, and for being a post office, uh, it's not uh, it's not a particularly helpful post office. There's really not that many books in this place, but there's good loot when you get to the main loot. Here's where most of the good books are. Actually, in the very first room. down there. He's distracted. He's kind of followed me all the way from across the street. Whoa, the wolf 
finish the other guy that came after me, and then I get this big black spike from the wolf block. Spears 30! Hey! We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. That's... Uh, gosh, what would that even be at this point? For typical... Uh, I'd say probably week one? Like, end of the first week? Level of Spears? First wave of books, and I see my wooden bow needs to... Ooh, my wooden bow. Why can't that be... Oh, I don't have duct tape. It needs duct tape to repair. I was going to say, 500 quality. It should definitely be able to be repaired. Uh, okay. Anyway, explosives. Rifle world. Urban combat, volume 6, which does... Uh, adrenaline rush. Use the adrenaline rush of combat to energize your body. Armor doesn't slow you down when in combat. I'm wearing big, heavy armor this... This is great, fantastic book. Uh, get hammer. No, we're not doing sledges. Wiring 101. Uh, you know, I've been reading those for a while. I'm gonna scrap this one. I'll, I'll take a few literature fragments for a change. I don't need that broken glass. Probably don't need those bones either, but we just keep on picking them up one after another. Eventually you'll need some. Uh, we'll head back inside. Just had a quick meal before we uh, head back in, and there is a safe. It's locked. It's going to take a long time to break into this thing if I'm going for that now, right? Yeah. Uh, and I only have two lock picks. There's no way we're going to get that thing open with our lock picking skills. So I'm going to leave that be for now. That gun safe, as much as I want to get in there, is not going to be as useful as I want it to be. <laughs> Good thing I know this place well enough. There's always one tucked up in that corner, but they don't wake up until you get through. Here's where we're going to encounter the cop. Almost certainly coming right out of there. And yes, there he is. The bleed took him out, or the, the burn. The burn finished him off, nice. Well, that was unexpected. A forge ahead, I haven't had one of those in a while. Sad. We have a water in there. I also don't want to carry around the water, so we're gonna just drink it immediately. Add it to our big hitters. I've got it. I'm gonna read it. I used to scrap those, but eventually I'd very much like to uh, improve that skill and make a decent knife. Alright, we're into kind of the phase of this place that's very much on the weaker side. Um, we gotta go out here, we gotta run off a bunch of guys, and they're gonna come out. Now they show up. Silent. This one's feral. There we go. He's down. He'll be okay. Burn again, stepping up when we needed it. Two mega crushes. Mega crush, by the way. 60 water each, and 15% stamina regen. And. Plus 50% run speed for six minutes. Very useful. Very, very useful. I don't need that charred meat though. All right, out into the back, and this is where things are going to get a lot trickier. We're going to get guys coming down from right up above. Get dog. We got hit once from the dog. That's good. Got snake down. There's a one coming down from above. Stamina's okay. So far, so good. Wow. One big old truck, and that's all it's got in it, huh? And just one bone. 
There's a duct tape. We'll use that to uh, repair our wooden bow. Okay. Open that. That's gonna be my safety. Uh, I'm gonna check all this loot later. I'll wake these guys up. Run to safety. didn't disturb him. It didn't wake him up. What if we come at it from above? Will this wake them up? Yep, there it goes. One feral. That's what? Four? Two ferals. Plus four. just a little bit. We'll let somebody else up. Close the door. Okay, stamina will cover just a little bit. And then close the door. Close the door. Still one more feral. Um, what was that? We've taken out four now. That was five or six. Stay still. Stay still. Oh, she didn't stay still. She didn't listen. Bobbin and weaving. That's probably not going to be enough to kill her. Oh. She lined up right in the face. I pulled the trigger and then she moved. Mio. Brick out of there, but nope, not to be. Just came out of stone. Got a magazine, ammo pile. A little bit of ammo. I mean, we're getting six medical journal out of there. We're getting six where before, right? We were getting one or two. So it is getting a little bit better quantity wise. That's what we're finding in the loop. Halfway in. Let's work on these boxes. Tools digests. Home cooking weekly. And another hand gun magazine. That's a decent haul, even though uh, none of the books are useful. Alright, three handgun magazines. Nice. One medical journal, two tools digests, one home cooking weekly, spear hunter that we've already read, so we'll scrap that. Padded gloves, low armor rating, scrap that. A mushroom. Gives me two food, I guess I can just eat it. Uh, don't need to carry that back with me. We've got plenty of mushrooms. Still overloaded pretty bad. Let's go ahead and take the vitamins now. It's a vitality boost. Uh, and now I 
can't even move. I'm so overloaded. Um, okay, Pistol Pete, Volume 7. Inflict 10% more damage with 9 mils. Okay, reload. Since I just tried to go in and modify. Gotta unload it to do that. Uh, trigger group, semi-mod, I'm gonna drop that. A steel arrowhead, I'm gonna drop that. It's just one. Okay, do without the bones. I get a lot of scrap metal, 140 is a decent amount, but there we go, now we're moving a lot, a lot better. All these sections of fence are only 1k. You gotta break down two of them to get out. This is a quicker way through. And this is generally how I never end up making it to the uh, saloon, right? There's no way forward. There's no path. There's no easy exits. No, you know, key boxes that uh, get you back outside. You got to retreat all the way back here unless doors have been broken. Paths opened up. All right. Well, I've gotten rid of the weight. Uh, I'm still overloaded, but it's also still not nighttime, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, on here. <laughs> I think we're going to just mostly find booze in here, huh? And decor, like tier 3 decor, tier 4 decor. <laughs> Woke up another, and that damn snake is here. I don't see him. reason to want to stay in a place like this, right? You got this protected upstairs, You've got beds to get the best uh, rest bonus. And now from the roof or out of the room. <laughs> Hey, where'd you come from, Carol? Very much close to night, so we're gonna head back uh, before the sun sets here. The rain finally stops as we're pulling up to the house, so I'm drenched, but we'll get dry quickly with campfire. Uh, and we're back before night, so no mushrooms this time, but uh, we're still looking 
Like that was that was a good day. That was a good day. Uh, search wise, uh, books wise, yeah, we got we got a good amount, but nothing crazy. Sun is rising. I'm gonna try to get just a slight head start, but I've decided it's time to move out of the scrap era and into the bronze era. I've gotten my tools leveled high enough that I can get some decent quality bronze equipment now. But what I need is copper and tin to make the bronze, to make the tools once and for all that we need to replace the the scrap axe, the scrap pickaxe, and the scrap shovel with likewise bronze age tools of all of those. Uh, so today is going to largely be about mining. I'm going to try to sneak out a little bit early. There's only a few zombies here and oh there you go just overnight here uh, our first harvest of all of these guys are ready and it looks like the yeah mushrooms too. I have a ton of mushrooms. I'm going to wait on the, uh, the mushrooms but I will uh, go ahead and plant another yucca there and plant some more potatoes. Okay, well there's only two in the area, so let's head on out. a moment anyway well just as I arrive the Sun has risen so on we go with our copper mining which uh, I'm gonna have to fix that hole for sure so my estimate is I'll need something along the lines of about 400 uh, if I get 500 I know I'm if I get 600 I know we're easily enough but 500 should do it, 400 might do it. Uh, but th this is accumulating pretty quick. We're, we're getting pretty much one per hit. Only about half done with the uh, project, maybe 300, maybe not quite. Uh, 271, yeah, not quite. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back, throw it in the forge so that the, the scrap pickaxe can be made, or not scrap, bronze pickaxe can get made first as that's the primary thing I need to get the rest of it. If I can upgrade to a bronze pickaxe, we can mine quicker, more efficiently, more effectively get through the project. So it's kind of a take baby steps to get where we need to be, and that's okay. I already discovered during the night uh, dealing with what I already had that uh, you can get away with making uh, with using the charcoal it'll smelt the copper in and I've got this scrap sledgehammer that I'm trying to also get rid of so right now I've got copper and tin at seven and three kilograms to make bronze ingots there's two different ways to do it there's straight up bronze or uh, the combination of copper and tin. So what we're getting here is the copper and tin for now. We're up to nine ingots. Uh, I need 20 for the first bronze pickaxe. Uh, so this will get me partway there. The tin is going to run out presumably before I get to that point. So we're, we're going to have some work to do yet. Second reason we're coming back early was to get something to drink. Coffee would be really helpful with what I'm trying to do right now. So why don't we get some uh, 
coffees and make some coffee. Huh? Back into the hole, we'll have enough ingots uh, relatively soon, but we'll do this first uh, phase because it's just the first tool. Right? We still need enough to get the two additional tools. So kind of watching the uh, pattern on, on what I'm getting as I've leveled up here a little bit. For one thing, the final hit uh, when I'm at just 20 uh, HP left on the block. I'm not getting anything for that one. It's just destroying the block. But all the previous hits, it's one for all of them. And since leveling up my gathering, I'm now getting two on a rare occasion. Uh, generally about once a block and so that actually means it's kind of offsetting the one that I'm losing on the final hit of the block meaning I'm basically getting one per hit and we're taking away what 60 per hit 500 which is nine hits a block, right? It would be 540. 48 is the eight hits. 480, that is, is the eight hits. So even if we do get a slight improvement, right? We start taking away 61. That would be eight hits to get to the point of where we normally have 20 left. So really it would drop to 12. So we'd be down to 12 on that last hit, we're going into that last hit. And we're, we're a ways off yet from that increasing. However, the tool, the tool makes, uh, makes up a big part of it. And I think uh, getting that right tool will we'll cut that number down quite a bit for us. I'm already holding 164 here, nice. Let's get that out of the tunnel and back up into the bike. Well, that now puts me over the 400 mark on what I needed. Uh, but like I said, 600 is the guarantee. 500 is almost certainly going to do it. 400 might do it. I think we have enough for that first tool, but not for the other two. But what we have now is at least one more tool. Possibly the third tool. There's gathering 24. Uh, but is that going to turn up the... Yeah, I had two hits in a row there with uh, getting two pieces. Oh, what are we collecting here? Limestone? Yeah. The very, very light stuff here. That stamina bonus made a big difference. We'll drink that other coffee. I need the liquid anyway. Right? My water level's not doing great. It's not bad, but... I, th I have the amount I'm looking for now uh, in the 500 plus range, uh, close to 600, but I'm going to go ahead and take more. I I've got coffee that's going to last another minute 20, and so I'm going to take advantage of that while I've got a zombie sneaking up behind me, and there's my level 28 that's going to impact the uh, block damage. Wandering Horde, he was not alone. I, can, I saw Lay. Yeah, there's, there's more with him. Uh, I'm kind of back into the hole. Right now, I'm glad I have to stand up to be able to handle this fight. Yeah, wandering Horde, there's that. Thirty seconds, and apparently I'm clear. And just as I thought, twenty became twelve. Well, here they come again. my bonus. So we did make it to the 600. So I'm, I'm done 
with the uh, copper phase. And a shotgun duck build mod schematic. I'm going to scrap that. I don't need it. We picked up five steel ingots and a Manuka honey. All right. I now have the copper to get us there. Uh, but I'm four bronze ingots short. And it's the tin that's now holding me up. Even though I don't need it anywhere near as much of it. So we're, we're so close. And what? 16, 24. I, I've got enough copper already smelted. Uh, I just need a little more tin. And that's going to be kind of like 1k worth. 10 tin ingots. Whew. That's a, that's a mouthful. Um, yeah, that's not going to take long. It's only about 120. So I guess we're going to just do it all at uh, a once type thing. Weather looks like it's taken a turn, and I definitely thought I heard some zombies in the area, but no sign of them yet. Uh, we've really just started this project. I haven't even dug out the, uh, the edge of the hole in any meaningful way. Oh, there's, there's a zombie. Yeah, it would have been nice to have the, uh, the new tool for this. We were so close to having it. Uh, but we were just short on tin, and if I'm going to be here, I might as well just do what I came to do and get it done. Uh, this doesn't quite collect at the same rate as the copper, but it doesn't seem to be far off from it. I've, I've had a couple zeros, but I'm mostly getting one per hit. I'm not getting the twos, but I'm mostly getting one per hit, so the yield's alright on it. It's not going to take me very long at all to reach the... Uh, the oh gosh what did i think i need i think 150 will easily cover that was 200 200 is what i need tin seems to be a little bit heavier than the uh, copper was as i'm already overweight just passing 50 so it looks like i'm gonna have to back and forth to the bike about four times to make this happen but that's okay Mining up to uh, level 29. I'm getting close to 14 on the pickaxes as well, so uh, we're definitely making some progress in these areas. Knocking out blocks a little bit faster, getting through you know what we need, and I'm getting close to having everything. 55. That should do it. That's uh, that's enough for now. That that is my target. That's a couple hundred tin. And right as the coffee ran out. So we'll head back to base, get this smelted down, yeah, and we'll have uh, three new bronze age tools. Well, it's too late in the day to uh, venture off to another town, uh, so I'm gonna go do some additional mining. Uh, the odd thing is, I have what I need. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just go after some buildings that I've already, you know, been to locally, and just do some quick uh, relooting. I'm not even gonna take my bike. Let's see what we have. We'll, we'll just kind of grab that handful of resources and see. them out and getting the loot with a little herbal antibiotic. Oh, that gun safe is still locked, huh? Never broke into that one. Alright, we did pull some books, forge ahead, wiring 101, traps, and a great heist that we've already read. Uh, herbal antibiotic with 10% Infection reduction and 15 minutes stalling. We're gonna go ahead and just take that right away as it's been on the rise again for the last day Dark outside while I was doing this project, so we'll have to be careful going back, but we're in we're in the gun safe and Got a nice little haul out of it Up, uh, Some more books great heist volume 7 We just scrapped one of these but this one we don't have motion detection best loot typically has automated defense systems like motion sensors and auto turrets Motion detection devices will not recognize you for three seconds when sneaking. Yeah, it's more about finishing the set, I guess. Uh, and bow hunters. One for that. Okay. 
I definitely don't need this bone knife either. And we can take those vitamins immediately. I'm a little bit overweight, but we're not doing too bad. Any couple days, I mean, the, the post office wasn't amazing, but it was, it was a good loop. It was an easy enough day that we went through for that. But this mining and getting the bronze tools that we are on our way towards, right? We don't officially have them yet. Five more minutes until I can uh, be done with that sledgehammer getting smelted down and then whatever it provides for me. Uh, and then we'll be able to get started on the tin. So the four more bronze ingots I'll have soon enough. So I'll at least have the, the scrap pickaxe before morning. That that much is very clear as for the other tools uh, that'll depend i guess the tin really won't take that long i mean it's only 200 grams per per ingot and we've we've managed to get a good amount of copper in there uh i'll, I'll probably have at least two tools by morning if not all three but that is going to do it for this episode i'm a cathlon gamer like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there bye for now